Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 116 of the Realm Recap. I am Jason from yakface.com, joined once again by FlyGuy from FlyGuy.net. Seems like five minutes ago, but uh, <laughs> Big Beard and Little Beard are back. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. It's been a while. I know, I know. I've just been moving house and busy, and so, but we're back. So, yeah. I hope. Just like nothing happened. I know, exactly. Nothing but a lot of things did happen from <laughs> since the last time we've talked. Um, That's true. Uh, we, I don't even know where to start. We could talk. Let's, most recent thing, I guess, would be uh, Solo. Uh, mm. Just hit theaters last week. Apparently, it's doing poorly. I, I don't care. I could be. I could care less how it's doing. I enjoyed the movie. Yeah, me too. Me too. I was. I was, I was trepidatious, like I think a lot of people were. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there was there was divided thoughts about the last movie, and some people were just not happy, and some were, and that's fine. Right. But I, I went in with no expectations, and I actually really liked it. I really yeah. did. Just the right balance of old feel, the buddy aspect. Chewie was great. We finally got to see yeah. Chewie as a real character, yeah. um, rather than just this you know, occasional growl. He really played a big part in it. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was a really smart movie. I really enjoyed what they'd done. So yeah. um, There were a couple things that I could have done without, just like with sure. any movie. I mean, I, I'm not going to rattle off with all the things that were wrong with the movie, but, you know, in my opinion. Um, but no, overall, it was coming from as as the problems that it had in development with the sure. directors getting you know kicked out fired whatever oh. um ron howard did an excellent job in uh salvaging whatever you know problems oh. there were and making it into something great you know it was it, it was enjoyable it's a perfectly uh adequate um it's not gonna rank up there with the best of the best star wars films but sure. nothing for me is going to beat episodes you know four five and six i mean sure that's what we grew up with you know 40 years ago um the new uh, anything beyond those <laughs> first episodes and i guess the prequels is gravy really i mean it's mm. just all it all adds to the um the era and the saga and the in the fan in the fandom of star wars so i i can't complain about anything it was it was really pretty good so like unless i'm on uh, uh the wrong site uh, uh, every human being that i've spoken to has said they've liked it every fan online i've spoken to i haven't seen a single soul see soul that was trash like rubbish was, you know, no one's slated right. it that i see mm -hmm. uh i'm sure there's going to be someone out there but um even the people that say they're boycotting it secretly watched it online. So, right. you know, it's like, and right. then didn't complain about the movie. So uh, clearly people like it. So maybe it's a step in the right direction. And you know, we, we were here in the same situation with the Phantom Menace with divided fans a wee back. Mm -hmm. What was that, 1999? God, 18 years ago. <laughs> um, you know, it was... It wasn't 1999, yeah. 19, wasn't it? Wasn't it 19, anyway, a, a long time ago. And, um, <laughs> a whole it, other lifetime it, ago. I was some people have grown up and are having kids at that age, <laughs> but uh, god, that's scary. But we've been here before, and um, I don't know, I think it, it's going to take a long, long time. Marvel did the same thing, uh, Kevin Feige and all those guys had a couple of misses uh, that they just don't really count anymore. The, the Incredible Hulk, uh, uh, kind of franchise, and in yeah. some ways, they loaned it out to Sony and, uh, and others, Fox with the uh, Fantastic Four and others. So. But they got their pace after a while, and I think Solo for me and Rogue One are, they might have been disjointed tough franchise, but I think they've kind of got the playbook right. kind of nailed to keep most people happy. So, um, yeah. And Boba Fett movie, yeah. supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly we'll Obi-Wan movie, we'll see. Supposedly Obi -Wan. Exactly. So, yeah. Future looks bright. Yep. Um, so with that, we'll get into a little bit of collecting news. Um, we're not going to go back and try to review everything we've missed since our last show just you know kind of the more recent stuff as far as since um the whole uh merchandising launch for solo um back in april i guess that's when everything really started to come out again and when mm. you know leaks were happening and um and all that good stuff but uh, let's see what do we have on our list um Enfy's nest or emphasis nest i guess that is the correct 
pronunciation. Um, Infus? 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 Okay, there you go. There was theories and rumors or for a long time about who this character was, but you know, mm. I think the first real, uh, not controversy, but uh, speculation was that it was a, a, a woman or a, a female. Sure. Um, and that kind of was proven by uh, what some collector cards or something like that over oh, yeah, in the UK. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, then the rumors kind of went to, oh, it's uh, it's Kira who's actually Enfisnet or Enfisnet, and it, that kind of that was kind of the persistent rumor until some of the final uh, TV spots came out. Yeah, I think that obviously she being present when they're meeting with emphasis mm. kind mm. of threw that speculation out the window but we we do get confirmation that this is a a, a female or a, one of the earliest starts of the resistance or rebellion i guess i think a lot of people can seem to kind of be desperately looking for some connectivity to another character and a whether it be EU or, or, or mm -hmm. you know, it's Boba Fett under there or whatever, or, right. you know, just desperate. And it doesn't need to be. And I think there was just, it, it's fine the way it is. You know, it, right. it's, it was fine the way it is. I thought it was really good. I thought the character looked fantastic. Really, yep. really cool. Um, and I think Hasbro have done a good job. I love the soft goods fabric they've got on this. Yeah. Um, and the helmet just looks excellent. Um, very chuffed with the figure. I think it looks really good. Mm-hmm. And we get some nice, gorgeous looking. I don't know about you, but that just takes me back to Shadows of the Empire, seeing the uh, the, the huge swoop bike there and that yep. kind of stuff. Oh, God, I love it. Um, and then we got just a little look at this bike, but Hasbro kind of teased it and then pulled it back because some retailers released it. And, accidentally. And then, uh, accidentally. And then Amazon screwed it up and revealed the whole thing ahead of time. And, and then anyway, we got it in the end. But um, So 60 bucks available at everywhere i think yeah it's not bad big ass vehicle yeah um you can't complain we're not getting aliens and we're not getting cool new stuff this is brand new so support it go and buy it yeah it's very like cool. it yeah i'm looking forward to it. you can see the glam big. shots very coppery very shiny yeah i mean and that's a great illustration there about actually how large it is with her standing next to it i mean yeah that's true six inch figures are rather sizable and that that speeder is like three times her length you know mm, mammoth it's, it's pretty cool yeah. i like the base as well it's you know it's the cloud mm. and they'll be on a ball joint so you can tilt it a little bit and hopefully it will support mm -hmm. and when you move it around so yeah I like it it's it's something radically different and you know it's shouldn't i don't think anyone's complaining about it. a lot of people just want to buy the figure on its own i've heard right. uh, they're yeah. not too fussed about the bait but you know so whatever pretty cool um kind of one of the other figures that kind of leaked prior to the launch was uh chewbacca from mm. uh target here in the us this is a all new version well not all new it's got it reuses i think a couple parts from the pre mm. the previous versions of chewy but um all in all and over uh, a new figure I think a lot of people, I, I adore that art again by Gregory Titus. They're just the chewy in the yep. wind there. He's just so <laughs> windswept and interesting there. I love it. But uh, mm -hmm. cool figure. It's it's turned up uh, overseas here in a couple of different stores. It seems to be a, a shared exclusive. But you also posted, I think, um, uh, just the other day, didn't you? A, a link to the page, the... Oh, no, no. It's No, I'm thinking of the, the, the Gamble Guards. We'll talk about ah. that shortly. But, uh, but yeah, so this has been pretty much hitting targets, I think, for most people, for some people. I don't think it's too widely spread for you guys. Yeah, um, I was able to find it right, right the after the the initial date that it was supposed to come out, the first, you know, the first week of May. Um, mm. Initial reports were that um, it was there was an error for that version where the gun right. didn't include. There's the kind of stock. The pump, yeah. yeah. The, the stock that you could cock back and forth. <laughs> um, it some of those were missing on on runs of them, so that version was both available. I think the main thing I've, I'm hearing is people can't find it in stores because for a while um, 
at least until I found today, that there wasn't a shell, a, a placement or a location in, at Target for it. So um, there was no dedicated peg in stores. They were just either thrown up on some existing peg or they were held in the back room or they're held in the electronics department. But uh, people have had issues finding them, not here in the Midwest, or at least where I live in Minnesota. It's it was been it's warming the pegs essentially here at this point. Um, I don't know if that's due to the fact that people just don't know what's out there yet, or the fact that a lot of the paint apps for the figure, the eyes are horrible on many really? of the ones that I see. It's you know Marty Feldman eye down here, oh I God. up here. Um, I yeah, I suppose it's painted on eyes again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's it's not one of the facial. Uh, not facial recognition, but the real face yep. technology that they're using on the human characters. Mm. Um, but it's a solid figure overall. Don't don't get me wrong. It's it's one of the best Chewies that they've done, and this is what the third or third one now. I think Just so. Yeah, that. pretty much. Force Awakens original trilogy, and yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of re-releases, but yeah, that's it. Yep. And it's got the cool goggles, which which work, and a cool gun for change. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to find out where he's got his bowcaster one day. Yeah, it, which is weird because didn't he have it in uh, Revenge of the Sith? And then I can't remember. I'd have to watch that movie again. I haven't seen it for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, an, another solid figure. Uh, the next big one that people are waiting for is the one, the Gamorrean Guard, mm. which yep. theoretically was supposed to come out yesterday or whatever, uh, June 1st depending on when you're watching this. Um, that was the initial street, hard lock street date for them when we reported that back um, a couple months ago. Uh, mm. It's It hasn't hit here in the U.S. at all yet. I know there's some private you know, third-party sellers that have been importing them. <clears throat> there's a placeholder on target.com, which you could take. There's a link at yakface.com for it. But... Uh, yeah, no one's been able to purchase this in store yet or online, as far as I know, from Target proper. Yeah, not, not in the US. No, no, no. Uh, so. It's uh, see, it's the one thing I, I managed to get it earlier from Hong Kong, and and you can see the uh, the detail there, the nose and the snout. Mm -hmm. All the ones I've been seeing, the ones I've got, uh, have a very brown nose. Mm -hmm. Looks very strange. Um, it's a good figure, but there's just a couple of small paint things that just like that. Those should be little silver studs, and the right. nose is a bit of an issue. But otherwise, absolutely, it's a it's a gloriously good figure. But thirty bucks is pretty expensive. It's quite a price yeah. jump. Think about it, ten bucks more than a regular yeah. figure, and you're not getting that much more. But there you go. Yeah, you know, people say, you know, you're paying for exclusivity. You're paying for the larger size figures. You know, it's not really a um, a figure that's going to lend itself to being repacked later or repainted in some way to or you know repurposed so you know i guess in order for target to to take it they needed mm. the the extra cash yep whatever i mean i i as soon as i heard the price i didn't blink for one second i yeah. thought hey 30 dollars is not a bad bad price at all for that you know it's got the opening jaws it's got you know what? It's got three weapons, two different axes in the really? in the force no. pike, and the soft, you know, goods. Goods. Like, it's going to be one of those ones. I think that no matter what, uh, it's. I, I doubt it will last long enough on target shelves right. uh, to 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 get down to clearance prices. But you know, you're going to find someone who'll be like, "I got four for five bucks each one day." <laughs> yeah. But uh, someone always does. But uh, it's a good thing. It's definitely it's a, it's a real fan favorite. I think so. Yep. I'm it's looking forward up. to it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we made a skip Val and L3, I think. Yep, we... those those characters, as far as them coming to the Black Series line, leaked out a little while ago. I was able to find SKUs and whatnot on BrickSeek for those, but uh, That's right. um, Hasbro officially, in the days prior to the movie coming out, they officially revealed uh, the Black Series versions of Val, which is a great-looking figure. It is. And uh, L3. 
She's looking good. Lots of paint. And I'm surprised this isn't an exclusive given the uh, paint passes required on it, all the weathering and the mm -hmm. red and the green and the yellow. And the, uh, that, that's normally an expensive figure for them to do. But Right. Strange yeah. character in the movie. Definitely unique uh, yeah. for sure. But uh, Which I quite liked. I like the kind of quirky, like, did not expect that from a droid. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah. Cool looking figure. Yeah, I wonder if it will come with any accessories. I mean, it doesn't show any. Um, I'm not sure what she would come with. Yeah. yeah. She did have something at the end. Didn't she throw like a grenade or something? Or a, a, right. Like a... Yeah. It's like you said, it's it's one of those figures. That, you know, you're paying $20 for this figure, but then you're paying $30 for a Gamorrean guard. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it all kind of washes in the yep. end, you know, like they charge a little bit extra here when they could charge more mm. here, you know, you, you kind of got to look at it cost averaging in a way, you know, and people like, like you said, people, you know, if they're, if you're buying, you know, $3 black series figures by the handful, you can't really complain about paying $20 for, yep. or, or full play or twenty nine ninety nine for a, a Gamorrean guard. If you're, loading up on three on three dollar figures that should be twenty dollars so exactly and there's been a lot of discount in the time you know i've kind of been off here for a little while there's been a bunch of stuff that was like brand new figures for five bucks mm -hmm. in some cases 95 cents i mean it was just again as you always would say uh your mileage will vary but uh yeah yeah i mean it's it's definitely heartland things when you you know twenty dollars then in 95 cents i mean yep Someone ain't getting a paycheck one somewhere. So, uh, anyway, yeah, I think last uh, was last week or two weeks ago, I was able to pick up a couple Rexes at Target for three bucks each. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's just. <laughs> I know. Those things. But you're not going to say no, are you? It's like you're no. still going to buy it. Like, yeah. Um, one of the next figures revealed. This was uh, announced as a shared exclusive. Uh, this is a uh, Admiral Piet. From Return of the Jedi, mm. not Which bad. Was, yeah, not bad at all. Kind of out the left, but again, it reuses. I think pretty much uh, all of Tarkin. Tarkins and a little bit of Thrawn, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. So uh, they could they do tons of officers in this, but yeah, yeah, he's, he's pretty nice. It could be an army builder. Swap a head out, and you get another officer if you want it for your dioramas or whatever. But he's kind of nice. Doesn't look like Piet there at all. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's hard to say sometimes. I mean, mm. it it does it. It's probably passable for for yeah. for Piet. You know, I don't think he's all that iconic of a character to warrant you know mm. ultra facial accuracy. Yep. But it's it's pretty decent nonetheless. Exactly. Yeah, it's a good figure. It's so you can pick that up at Dorkside now. For pre order, mm -hmm. I think it's August, is what they're saying now. I think so. I think it was July, a the least. Just go back, yeah, July, it's June, but yeah, June. I think it's been put back. I've seen a couple of places put it back. Yep. Um, um, let's see, Gorian Guard, we talked about. Um, um, what's interesting about recently with a lot of these exclusives, they've been available everywhere else but the US first. I don't know if you've noticed, like yeah, I've noticed. I think what's happened um, for a lot of stuff is the availability has been definitely changed up to allow the uh, not everything goes to the US first. So I think we're yeah. getting a few bits coming through. A lot of Hong Kong sellers, mm -hmm. a lot of eBay sellers. Um, so yeah, it's been nice for a chance to actually get uh, getting stuff that's exclusive, which is a real pain in the ass for us. Um, you know, we don't have Walgreens here, we don't have Walmart there. You know, every country has slightly different versions of those stores, and we have targets, and U mm -hmm. UK has Asda, so there's some connectivity to them. But yeah, normally the Gamma Green Guard would just turn up at US targets, be wiped, scalped, and that's it. Yeah. So I think they're realizing that there's a, a, a bigger market. They, they could absolutely cater to it online, but yeah, rest assured, you'll still get a lion's share of them, that's for sure. Right. They're not, they're not widely available here. So. Yeah, there's uh there's another one. I, I'm not sure if it was on the list. I didn't scroll down far enough, but uh, uh, Clone Commander Wolf, which is a shared exclusive in the U.S. That's right. With, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's a GameStop, Barnes and Noble, awesome. Disney store. 
ex shared kind of exclusive. Um, mm. That hasn't hit here in the US yet. I think that's again an, a July release. Um, people have been able to pre order it. I saw, I think someone on uh, Facebook in one of the Black Series collector groups said they were able to take the UPC to their Barnes and Noble and they were able to pre order it through through them um that way it hasn't popped up online through any of the official three retailers mm -hmm. yet to to purchase but uh yeah that's another big one that's going to be a popular exclusive yep. you know, clone troopers are always do pretty well you know like uh, yep. Gree and cody yep popular ones so there's a, another one we actually didn't talk about just where we're, we're uh, talking here and it's not in the show notes but i'll, I'll very quickly um bring it up because it's pertinent and just what we're talking about i think one of the reasons um some of this stuff arrives perhaps on the asian nostril asian side of the world first or is becoming more available is um it's made here first of all right uh and it ships by boat to the us which takes mm -hmm. 12 weeks ish maybe eight to 12 weeks something like that mm -hmm. um so it does take a little bit of time, but the one which uh, has came out, I'm sure you know about it too. I'm just sharing on screen right now, but this is uh, or was uh, a Toys R Us Asia only uh, exclusive. So uh, I'm getting one and I'll, I'll get it across and we'll have a look at it and I'll share it and see if other people, you know, what they think of it. But it's a repacked Stormtrooper with some of the um, centerpiece parts in it. So it's kind of like, what? It's a bit weird with a stand and stuff, but uh, I think we might begin to see the fragmentation of uh, exclusives. The way that almost Funko have been doing it for long enough that, um, yes, it's Walgreens, yes, it's Walmarts and so forth, because you've got such a bigger market, they have 300 mm -hmm. and whatever million people, but they understand that there's other markets that they can make money from. So you might get to see more availability, which would right. be good because Toys R Us is closing. Mm -hmm. um, and other stores have been struggling. Kmart Sears is really, you know, not what it was. Um, so I think they have to look at other markets to expand that uh, that kind of income. So yeah. Anyway, I digress. Um, what was like? I was going to say something about that. Uh, uh, crap. The delays and toys. Or... Yeah, it was about the stormtrooper, and I don't remember exactly what it was. But uh, one thing I do remember is this is like the first time we're actually seeing official stands come yes. with the uh, figures yeah. and um i can't remember who posted it i think it was think the guys jedi defender was it no i no. saw pictures on them that jedi business. The stand. Jedi yeah. Business was okay. yeah one side of the stand has the star wars logo yep. then you flip it over you could flip it over it's like a insert and it has the traditional star wars great looking yep. uh, base plate um pretty cool uh Hopefully they make them available. If they do work well with the figures, hopefully they make them available, you know, in, in packs of 10 to 20 or something, you know, yeah. officially through, you know, uh, the Hasbro toy shop or some other retailer that might offer them. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting that they've dipped into that. What I was going to say is Hasbro and I guess the Tomy market they do mm. like with transformers they have a lot of asia exclusive only mm. transformers that the collectors here in the us don't get unless you <clears throat> import them or purchase them through a, a seller that that does deal in the foreign asian exclusive uh, yep. figures so this like you said is kind of like the first kind of dabbling into having uh foreign market only yep. exclusives that people in the us are probably going to want to track down if the figure is you know in high demand the stormtrooper you know i, I could see a lot of people wanting it mm. it's not like a main character that would really drive a lot of sales or a lot of sure uh, sure a lot of u.s demand mm. considering how many stormtroopers we've had over the years i know uh, i know and it's a six inch figure I, again they're still pretty popular but it's not like it's a, a top tier character that would really sure, sure. drive people crazy if they couldn't get exactly. it here in the US. Exactly. Well, I mean, the thing, it's just like a lot of other uh, import stores, you know them, I'm sure, and if uh, people don't, places like Hobby Link Japan, Amy yep. Amy, Big Bad Toy Store, Dorsey Toys, all these places uh, can import this stuff. Uh, it's just that it can't be sold at, at retail in the US. Um, yep. So you, you'll still be able to get stuff. It's just, yeah, you've you got to pay a premium, but uh, 
Crimea River. Right. Uh, anyway, um, uh, where did we get to? Um, number seven, I think we had just very briefly. Just yeah. Through a Talking about discounted toys, I just read this one. Now it's ten bucks in Australia, but it's seven dollars fifty US. But the glut of Rogue One figures that I've hit here is pretty gin ginormous. It's a store called the Reject Shop, <laughs> um, but it's it, it just shows you it, it's quite scary to see all that the people that have been posting here. Um, the volume of Rogue One figures. So Krennic, Death Troopers, uh, Cassian, tons of gin, like just tons of gin um and there's a couple of other people have found some the the uh, bees um and chirrut as well and i think there's a couple other ones keep people finding small quantities but anyway the the quantity that hasbro must have made for that movie quite staggering that it's yeah. uh, still wading through they've already done a run here and they wiped out and people thought great you know really cheap up figures and it just came back really, really hard. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you get a lot of older figures cheap, which I think segues into uh, the next oh, yeah. story, <laughs> which I just posted, which I thought was really fun. This came on the, the kind of uh, the larger Facebook group um, uh, up at Black Series, but uh, I've never seen so many Leas in my life in one store. I, I haven't either. I, I saw another similar picture from Toys R Us. Um, it was like you said, in one of the um, Instagram groups or uh, mm. Facebook groups. And it was, again, like this. It, I Like you said, this is ridiculous how many there are. I mean, these are obviously solid cases of Leia's that have been sitting somewhere in some <laughs> warehouse for, for Toys R Us. That's mad. They're, they're, they're 12 deep. I just counted them, those pegs. Uh, and there was another photograph as well. I think they were round the corner on another. I mean, oh, right. it's just mad to see so many in one place. It's just, who would have ordered so many of what for one store? So maybe there was some Toys R Us mistake or something or purchasing issue or somebody added an extra couple of digits onto the, <laughs> the quantity for the store order. So, um, wow. So, yeah, if you're near, uh, I think it was Altoona in Pennsylvania, uh, you got plenty of them. And it's the, the good layer, the one with the more modern sculpt on it. So, uh, mm -hmm. wow, 10 bucks. Anyway, that was worth shame. Well, what else? Uh, Ray. Yeah, this was the, uh, this is another figure that's uh, here. I don't think you've seen it yet, have you? The, or did you find this one? Um, no, I I purchased it online from a seller. Ah, cool. Um, but uh, yeah, it's my, mine doesn't have the sticker. I, I yeah. noticed those recently that uh, some of the uh, <clears throat> online pictures had now started showing the the Target or not Target, but uh, Toys R Us Walmart exclusive sticker. Yep. Which is on well. figures like. Uh, I haven't seen this particular sticker on Star Wars stuff before, other than maybe like the Tie Fighter. Mm. Um, yeah, they're, they're not known for really making a big, huge fuss about their stickers. But the the thing that is interesting on this one is, I, I would suggest this may come to the UK or the, the European yeah. market because of that huge pamphlet inside, yep. which uh, UK people always have to uh, put up with, and normally on the back on huge, ridiculous stickers uh, because of EU compliance. So. I think that's going to be like an Asda UK uh, exclusive. Um, yep. I would bet, and then whatever that will be overseas for France and other countries, Car Forward in France and whatever. So yeah, I think this might be quite abundant. But um, yeah. I was super annoyed after last year's celebration. Um, Steve Evans and the Posse said no exclusives. <laughs> and then, and then <sighs> there's definitely two coming. Exactly. This so. is in the fall. There's the, Min -min? the Mimban Stormtrooper mm. in the three and three quarter inch vintage line. And what was the other one? Well, this the, the, the no, this one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one here. Yeah. Um, I think that was a that was another six inch figure di we didn't really talk about was the Mimban oh, Stormtrooper. Richard. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows where the hell that thing is. I mean, yeah, where's that? Isn't that supposed to be a what? Har? No, Walmart. Yeah, it's Walmart, Walmart here in the U.S. as well. Um, again, a lot of them have been popping up mm. um, in the Asian market, but again, not in the 
not in the U.S. Because yep. people have been asking like every single day, where is the Mimpan Stormtrooper? Yeah, um, yeah. And even the info for it, like to search for it, has been hard to come Lots by. I mean, there's, you know, I've been maintaining that master list of UPCs and DPCIs and whatnot, and yep. I cannot get a U.S. code. Oh, I said, oh. Like because the UPC the is unique to the to the UK and uh, Jap uh, uh, Japan markets. It's gotcha, gotcha. a different a different number. So, wow. Anyway, Poopy Trooper, as I call him, he's just Poop, yeah. way too much weathering. But never mind. Um, yeah, I'm sure for someone you like... never really well, you saw yeah. him just <laughs> walking around. You didn't see him do any kind of real action. Just walking around in the trenches. Yeah. You didn't get to see any real action from them. I, I, I noticed, and we'll talk about it later on because we were, we've got a solo link for the book about it. But I looked through the visual guide or whatever they're calling it now, the, the something companion yep. guide, right. basically the visual guide. Um, they have a kind of uh, um, ammo pouch on them mm -hmm. in, in the book. So I was kind of like, eh. so I think we've, we've not quite got the most accurate member and trooper. The helmet's different, but yeah, they're, they're missing bits, I think. So yeah, there's a few different ones. There's uh, oh, is it? Maybe that's what it is different. Yeah, it was, something or... and the only reason I know that is because of I still use that damn card trader app. And ah, cool. There's some, maybe I could find one quick as we talk about some other things, but um, there's some that have like the backpack from Rogue One, you know, that has the pouches. And ah, I didn't realize. Be, right, uh, okay. That makes more and sense. then has an orange pauldron with still with the muddy oh, really? cape. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of different ones. There's at least oh, you know, I didn't realize. I thought there was only like the two of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So it would be nice if we would have got it accessorized like that version. I I do want to get a stormtrooper in six inch scale that has that uh, Rogue One backpack. Oh, there it is. There you go. So it's from the tops app as well. Nice. I should have kept on that. I couldn't use that because of the damn crystals and the. It was like oh, just I know. I that thing oh, dropped like a Jesus. Anyway, right. um, yeah, you're right. There we go. There's there's the Mimban posse. Yeah. The, the Mimban boy band. Um, <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. Actually, I should I should check that out to see more of the the photographs of some of that. Yeah, there you go. There's the so it's it's, it's clearly good. Yeah, I must admit in the background you did see that. So yes, that is variants of the uh, the poopy trooper. Yeah. All righty. He really is covered from head to toe there. All right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Yes. All righty. So what do we um, have? let's see. What's next? Uh, vintage collection wave two. Yeah, you'd um, kind of uh, you'd given some. Th there's two links here we've got that you'd given two links. So yeah, you, you best talk about it. But it's, yeah, um, um, people are kind of wondering where the heck they are. I mean, considering they've been vintage collection, as much as people we're hoping that it would come back like a huge thing. I, they're really, I think being, uh, very deliberate in spacing out the waves, um, just mm. to not oversaturate the market. Like they did so poorly with some of the Phantom Menace, uh, figures mm. back in the day. But, um, the next wave of figures, let me pull up here. I thought I had a link. This is the one that you had the, the UPCs for Scarif. Bush. Oh no, that's a that's a different. That's, the, one. that's an, another a different link. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, basically, um, I'm trying to think. Like Han Solo from the new movies in Wave Two, uh, Enfys Ness is in it. Um, who else? I'd have to uh, I'd have hold my on link candy. I've um, got a link here with some stuff. Um, here we go. Uh, Han Solo, Emphis Ness, combat tank driver from Rogue One, which will go nicely with that tank uh, that's coming later this year. Uh, Death Trooper from Rogue One. Um, mm -hmm. Supposedly, this wave also has Dr. Afra, the Range Trooper, Cassian, and Luke from The Force Awakens. You know, obviously, some of those ones. Uh, our repack from the Black Series line that was exclusive to Walmart. Um, mm -hmm. you know, figures like Cassian, uh, the Death Trooper, Luke. But uh, the new figures are Han Solo, Emphis Ness, Tank, uh, Tank Driver, 
uh, Afra Range Trooper. So yeah. I guess the, the word is, or the theory is that we sh should be looking closer to August for those. We'll see. Mm, 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 mm. It's been of the vintage figures that have been released, you know, the first eight um, peg warmer city for the most part around here. It's yeah, even you. Even all you. the repacks, um, Snoke, um, obviously yeah. Kylo Ren, yep. Ray. Yep. Just they just that, really haven't been shifting. Well, I think the price point's been a little high. I mean, it's been 24 bucks here, which is about 8 18 us dollars you guys have been i think it was adam bray was speaking to twitter and he was saying it was like 12 in general yeah. they're actually the 12 i think but some people have been seeing them in walmart mispriced i think for like seven or something crazy, yeah which is just not sustainable <laughs> okay and, uh, yeah. uh i figured at that price um Look, I, I I think you're right. They have been a little lukewarm, but then they, they've done this before. Uh, the entire wave is repacks, apart from Snoke. Yeah, yeah, just apart from Snoke. So yeah, yeah, it's. I think it was too thick on the on the repacks on that first wave, but right. And oh, to well. have for it to come back when it did with yeah. the launch of the solo products and not have solo figures in it was really mm. odd. Yep. You know they should have split split it up differently have some of the repacks from the, i mean they don't even have well i guess they have one last jedi figure um the snoke really um but yeah i i suspect a lot of it might be to do with timing yeah um given the uh, they may have had to cobble together a bit of a greatest hits of of previous released figures to get them into the channel, uh, to give them a little bit more time to finish the solo products, because given the movie, the whole seventy yep. percent, uh, Lord and Miller or whatever his name was, um, that that must have put a damper on things to say, hey, all those figures you've you've developed and you know we've given you sketches for, toss them. <laughs> we've got a new director. Things may change, so they, they've maybe had to go on to hiatus. And so I, I think that might have had an impact. I'm sure it did did uh, on the. Um, you know, the Hasbro turnaround time and so forth to get them out. Yeah. So that may have been why. That's a Makes positive sense. guess anyway. Yep. Um, Who is next? Solo droids? Solo droids. Yep, these were, they've been talked about for a little bit. Um, they just started hitting retail at uh, Disney Store, <clears throat> excuse me, um, just recently. These are... They're not really 3.75 inch. I mean, they are in terms of that's how actually how big they actually are. But it's really kind of weird what scale they might really be as far as do they look better with the six inch figures or do they look better with the three three quarter inch figures? Considering like the gonk droid looks really good next to a six inch Han Solo or, you know, any of the six inch figures. Mm. But in the movie, especially that one on the right is pretty sizable. It's like a human size. Mm. Um, you know, it's like five feet tall, it looks like in the film. So it kind of works with both scales in a way. Um, the figures themselves, I, I did pick up a set the other day. I posted pictures of them. Um, the uh, the gonk droid mm -hmm. has a little wind up thing on the back. His leg his legs obviously walk and he chops and pretty happy about that. Um, he's got a little wheel here that, whoops, he's got a saw blade yep. that spins if you turn this little deal manually. Um, like I said, he walks and chops. The other one is not a wind up. It is one of those pullback things. So you set it down, you pull it back and let it go and it carries forward. Um, he's got, again, a little spinning cutting wheel, yeah. some chains that whip around. Again, that's manual. It doesn't do it on its own. But if you do the, what does it do? Um, try to roll it back. It'll move forward. Kind of. Oh, okay. it, yeah, he drives forward and his head turns and his arms kind of flail. Um, but he's got a middle section that rotates on its own. Or, I mean, manually, not on its own or by itself. Um, they're nicely done. They're yeah. it's got some weathering, it's got some cool details. Again, the 
the mm -hmm. animation part of it is kind of cool. So they're fun. They look like, like I said, they look good with both scales, to be honest. So for 10 bucks, I mean, you can't get oh. two figures for 10 bucks well. anymore. <laughs> well, you can if you shop at, clearance <laughs> at Walmart. Um, but no, it's it, for the Disney store. You can't really beat that. So yep. no, I agree. A lot of people have been liking those. Yeah. Droid fans will definitely lap them up. And Walmart, Walmart, another Walmart one. Mm. This one popped up a couple weeks back, maybe last month even. There's rumors of a Walmart exclusive A Wing coming to the US. Uh, Robot Kingdom had posted the first link to it and showed the back of the box. Um, subsequent uh, images have been released of the front, but uh, this, this one is the red squadron a wing and it has it's the same as the last jedi one that came out in the last packaging and then mm -hmm. there's one that came out again for force link 2 yep. the same thing um they've updated the deco they gave it a nice weathering job which is always nice mm -hmm. and then they put in a generic uh pilot it's a female pilot, judging yep. by the lipstick. Um, yep. It's kind of cool. I think they just reused Tally and repainted her like this. A little bit. But yeah, it's yes. supposed to be coming to the U.S. And initially, I heard it was not going to be Walmart here in the U.S., but it's it still says Walmart on their site, or on Robot Kingdom site, but who knows? Yep. I'm still looking for an official... A source to say that it's coming to Walmart here. Yep. It's a little bit late for them to get right into Last Jedi stuff, I think, at the moment, but uh, it's still, you know, it's not yeah. that late, I suppose. Cool. Um, what else? We've got. What have we got? Uh, Black C you posted Black Series helmets, wasn't it? Yep. Um, again, for the launch of Solo, there was a new Black Series helmet that came out, the Darth Vader one. Very popular as far as um, a lot of people have have liked this one um this particular walmart here just north of me a few miles had them marked down to 75 dollars from their 99 dollars mm. that they were before that's cheap not a, not a bad price no it's not bad at all considering yeah. what what the poe dameron one was, i think those were like 70 was mm. the last helmet they came out with i think i, I picked that up for 25 or something like that 35 at my local walmart but uh yeah, they've been selling pretty consistently i think the poor diamond has been a bit sluggish but every yeah. other one in the lane even in the marvel lane is pretty good sellers so yep. um, cool what else do you have you've got uh some toys r us a lot of them are well the, all the ones in the us are closing so they're uh that's the same picture i think i've double posted so that was my oh. bad the, yeah that was the, that was the layers so oh, okay. uh, bad. i doubled up um, so that kind of rounds out the hasbro news for the past couple of weeks oh. um moving on to hot toys and those brands uh just yesterday they hot toys revealed the mud trooper han solo which is pretty awesome mm. very scatter trooper inspired isn't it with yep, the ray and of... the, the chest plate and so forth yeah but uh, i think this is basically your mud trooper and han solo i don't think you're going to get a separate release i know yeah because that's really a mud trooper <laughs> right you know it's uh, i don't think there'll be a separate release of a mud trooper so if you need one i would suggest this is it if you uh flip a couple more images there's one back there behind him yeah with some owl pouches and stuff yeah, yeah yeah true 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 maybe and i think he has a different belt as well i think you'll see it better in another picture he's got some ammo pouches around his waist but uh this is a nice looking figure again it's mm. and they also show um a mimban that's it's, right there's the one on the left there that has the different yeah belt. that's right he's got the distant reveal so, I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff that Hasbro have, uh, sorry, Hot Toys have, uh, particularly in the Iron Man side of things, that have they've done that background teases, and we all get excited. Mm -hmm. In 
it never came to market. There's been a lot of stuff that's been delayed. But yeah, you're right. Absolutely, it could be. Uh, it could well be coming, and it may just be. Uh, it may be the case, but I yeah. hope so. The cool looking characters. Yeah, they really do look good. So that on. again, that was revealed yesterday, uh, Friday, um, and then it went up for pre-order through uh, Sideshow just yesterday as well, yesterday afternoon. So, yeah, about a hundred or two hundred and thirty-five dollars is their their price on this, which seems to be about the going rate for all of their standard yeah. um, Hot Toys twelve-inch figures. I can see a lot of guys buying this for just even a kind of generic. Yep. like Wolfenstein kind of slash, you know, inspired Nazi tripper thing or something or some kind of, you know, futuristic soldier. So uh, cool. it's very cool. Steampunkish kind of way. Cool. Nice. I, for some reason, that, the, the facial sculpt to Han Solo seems a little better there compared to the one we're just about to share. Right. It looks a little different. Um, um, a couple weeks ago, they showed off their... Uh, their other Han Solo, kind of his main solo outfit. They have a deluxe version as well from, uh, you know, the train robbery scene with the big wool the coat car. and uh, goggles from Vandor. Again, it's a pretty decent looking figure. A lot of people have complained about the likeness and that it doesn't really look like Alden mm -hmm. Ehrenreich, but yeah, I've seen it's, worse. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, exactly. Pretty nice though. Yeah, it is pretty nice. I thought he was a great solo. I really thought he was great. He just fluidly went into the character and just is that a new Chewie? <laughs> I think so. Well, the bandolier is different and yeah, that's right. So they is. cannot get his face right. Look at that photo that over in the right? I know, I know. Sections. It just looks kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, as as, I know. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that <laughs> Move on swiftly. Oh my god. Oh, else to play. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, yes, I guess it does look like that. You... <laughs> uh, <laughs> well. I know. Yeah. There's your show title. There's your show title. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might offend. Yeah. Oh, Heaven forbid, don't offend anybody. Oh. Anyway, um, yeah. what else do we have here? Uh, SH. There's, yep, SH Figure Arts. We're kind of get, we're gonna skip any kind of Funko news. They've. There's no, is there anything? There's not been much really. There's, they have so much product. Funko does. It's it's hard to keep up. Um, I've been, as you can see, there's some Funko bobbleheads behind me <laughs> right here. Is the is some of the solo stuff, yeah, solo yeah, yeah, yeah. ones that I've purchased. There's I haven't bought them all yet, yet. Um, but I didn't buy all of the Last Jedi ones either. I've been just kind of picky and choosy. I like more of the exclusives. I like more of the interesting character mm. ones. I just I can't do them all. To be yep. honest, it's they're just too many. But uh, we'll no, move on to the I'm, next I'm brand. Man. Yes. Um... SH Figure Arts mm. had a bunch of reveals uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, or was that last week even? I don't know. It all runs together. Uh, May um, 24th. Yep. From the Tamashi Comic Con. Mm. Shut off some uh, a Spirit Obi-Wan. Yep. Which and looks better a... than Hasbro. It does, actually. It does. I think so, too. Um, less My Little Pony. Less Shimmery. Yeah. A um, couple Jawas. Yeah. By the way, don't go to, uh, if you're even remotely offended, don't go to Amy News's uh, page Twitter feed because uh, <laughs> there's a lot of scantily clad uh, <laughs> Japanese schoolgirly stuff in very weird yeah. poses. So uh, some kind of questionable, but there you go. Yeah. Um, nice R5D4. That's a very, I was uh, taught of that one a few weeks ago with someone, a few days ago. Uh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Like that. Very metallic and solid looking. Uh, and yeah, a bunch of other ones you had, I think they're just um, a Cody, uh, yeah. what do you Shock call Trooper. it? Shock Trooper, thank you. Um, Han and Carbonite. That's a very good looking Yoda. We should look at that Yoda, actually. 
It's a yeah. very nice facial sculpt on that. Doing his, uh, what's that, Revenge of the Sith move, I think. That's yeah. the, but that's really nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we'll get one from Hasbro, a redo at some point. So. Yeah, they need to revisit him. They, I didn't show all of the pictures from over the weekend or whenever that was, but there was a bunch of reveals. They had a nice detailed look at the Count Dooku. There was a couple Obi-Wans from the prequels. Yep. Um, I can't remember. There's just, they do a great job. Their, their line. Mm. And then there's another, uh, of the movie realization figures. This is the interpretation of C3PO, which is kind of, kind of wild, very steampunky. It is kind of wild, isn't it? Wow. Michelle movie realization, very dark, but yes, very cool. Um, and you'd one more that I saw you posted, um, which is this one. Oh yeah. The crate um, projection. Yep. Luke Skywalker. Like, very which, nice. They, again, they beat Hasbro to the market in both this scale and the three, three quarter inch scale for, for this figure. I think, uh, Funko has one coming, but, uh, this is the, the first six yep. inch scale version. It looks very nice. I like it a, quite a bit. Mm. That's a huge bike. Kind of boldy bit there, but <laughs> but hey, oh, and there's some other older stuff we've talked about. So yeah, they showed off that emperor back there. Yeah, which would be great, I think, on its own. For I think did we talk about this like forever ago? Yeah, they they show a lot of product like that Luke. They I think they reissued that Luke again. Um, yeah, because it has that weird face and that yeah, that's right, it does hair that really doesn't fit with that scene. <laughs> Um, no, it does not. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff, and there was a little wicket. And yeah, there was a little Jabba. Yeah, the, like that Jabba they've shown for a couple of yep, years too, yep, with yep. that segmented tail. Yep, I remember we spoke about it ages ago. Jar Jar, some Phantom Menace stuff. Jar Jar's that's, pretty cool. He is pretty cool. He, he looks movie accurate, that's for sure. Um, I don't know about the pegs there. They could have. It's got to be a prototype. They, yeah, got to be. They're true. better than that. That's one that's got to be coming back to the Black Series soon as the, the Darth Maul and, and that speeder bike of his or speeder circle, whatever you want to call it. Um, yep. Begging to come back to that one. But yeah, there was a ton of stuff. There really was a lot of stuff in the Amy Amy feed. Yep. <laughs> Getting some questionable. <laughs> yeah. Some very odd. Watch with adult supervision, please. Yeah. Um, Craig Luke. Next one were some new stands that you saw. Yeah, this was a, I actually met. I went to a, a local uh, toy uh, show here, um, pretty big actually, and um, I met a couple of really nice guys, uh, Scott and Doug, and they were just they're two guys who are basically making their own stands. And uh, you know, if you really want to make some changes in Star Wars, and if you don't like things, then go out and do your own thing. And, and these guys did, and they didn't like the stands, and they made a bunch of. This is only one of their many stands they're doing, but. Um, some people didn't like the little elastic band, but it actually completely works, I find, on just about every figure. Hmm. Uh, you don't have to put them on that little thing, but it, it's a nice backrest for, for bigger figures. And So anyway, they, they've got a page, um, and I gave a little review, but it, it's I'm always on the quest for stands, and yep. uh, uh, we've not quite got the perfect stand, but that's pretty close because it's clear for me uh, and fits just about any figure. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Get my plug. Um, what else do we have? Um, TV, movie, book, and game news. Not yep. really that, but uh, they did announce um, recently that uh, Star Wars Celebration is coming back in 2019, and it's going to be in Chicago versus uh, California or Florida, which will That's be right. different for those of us that find it hard to travel to either location or, mm. you know, the expense sure. of going to those yeah what's that like for you maybe like a five-hour drive or something oh well, what is it i've not done it in a while it's like seven seven that's maybe uh, yeah i don't know okay pretty close but uh a couple days ago they revealed the ticket prices uh for each of the days whether it's a single day or a five day um, yep it's a little bit different it it looks like it costs more it does a little bit but they've added a a fifth day 
Mm, so that's right. That's when right. you cost average everything out, it's like six more dollars per day to to see yep. if you if you're going to attend all the days. Yep. And then so that's that's not terrible yep. um, if you buy in advance and if you could find adequate uh, lodging to attend. Yeah, that's a lot of time for a convention. He's, I'm normally yeah. done yeah. two days in. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Uh, I think people realize how much walking is involved at some of these conventions. Mm -hmm. I've got a little uh, kind of pedometer on my watch or something. I, I, when I went to Star Wars Celebration last year or whatever it was, uh, this thing was blowing up all the time. You've exceeded your daily steps by like five times because it's just, you know, you just forget you're always walking around. But yep. so you're thinking of going or? Yeah, I that's the plan i Ditto. missed the past couple so this one is in a nice location i think i could get away for a few days i don't know if i'll go for all five just yep. because like you said it's that's a lot, a lot. to take in um but i could see myself doing three or four days it mm. depends on what's going on you know it's they haven't announced the guests or any of the panels or anything like that yet so um not that's really determinative whether I go or not, but I'd like to run into a few people that I haven't in a while. And I think that's mm. the main reason why I'd go anyway, is just to, to hang out with people. And yeah, so sure. it'll sure. be fun. It'll be fun. I haven't been to Chicago since, oh gosh. Um, there was a C2E2 uh, several moons ago. I went to, <laughs> I think that was 2015 maybe. Mm. It was a while ago, maybe even earlier than that. So, which which I think is the one again this year, not that far away from this, if I remember. Yeah, it sounds about right. Um, date, C two two date. I'm sure it's a. Oh, and a, a few people were saying, "Damn, this is in between." I think it's uh, uh, Disney's. Uh, oh God, Disney's uh, exhibition that they have. Um, Mar oh, March. Is it March for C2E2? I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I think it's there's a lot of coins happening at that time. March, March uh, 2031. So, yeah, that's actually pretty close because this is mid April. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But hmm. same company, Reed Expo. So, they literally just keep the tent, everything up for C2E2. They just <laughs> right. sweep the floor. And and yep. Yep. Put up some new oh. branding and they're good. Yeah, it'd be very interesting. Five five days. The Monday would be a very weird day. I think. Yeah. Um, be like a ghost town. Yeah, unless they have something really special planned to keep people hanging around. Mm. But, yeah. But okay. yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to attending. You know, I know uh, Corey and the other guys from yes. the Store Transmissions yep. plan on going, and um, some of my other friends. Yep, among the interwebs are planning on going and I'd like to bump into them. So all signs, all signs are pointing to yes for me going. Yeah, it's expensive, a very expensive trip for me. But uh, hey, yeah. you know, the things we do for Star Wars, Jason. <laughs> Apparently we're not real fans sometimes, some people say, but there you go. So uh, hmm. yeah. that's where that gets you. Exactly. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, you oh, the solar talked brain. on it. A little bit there, yeah. The the guide. It's really. I don't know if you've had a chance to flick through it or seen it, but um, I have. It, it's the visual guide, basically. They've called it the official guide, but right. Um, it's kind of a blend. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got more descriptive copy in it versus the the yep. visual dictionaries had, but um, it's nice. This has a lot more detail, a lot more nice, you know, full size imagery and and details. So it's a nice blend of the two. I I really like them or this one in particular yeah and lots of nice artifacts around the office and um little bits and pieces and the mandalorian armor up at the back for those yeah. that missed it um and aliens and stuff just really nice to get to see some of the the up, up close uh pouches and pockets and, and to, it's just fascinating to see some of the stuff the work that's went into it for something on the screen that you probably you know couldn't remember where Moda Maxa was I, I don't remember where they were. Yeah, he's but, doing the um, crane technique apparently from. Yeah, he is actually from Kung Fu Panda, I think, or something. Then, so. <laughs> Karate Kid. I was actually surprised of all the turmoil that some people have been getting the knickers and the twist about uh, 
movies and stuff. And I, saw, I thought somebody would get all upset that Chewie and Solo and Han had a shower together. I thought that would really upset people. And nobody cared. Yeah. Nobody gave a shit about it. I'm like, you know, because normally people are all like, oh, it's like the right. end of the world. A Wookiee and a man had a shower together. Anyway. Trigger warning. Yeah. 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 So we, what have you been buying? What else have you been buying again? Jeez. Uh, what have you not been buying? <laughs> let's see. That's that's a good one. Um, I've been buying little bits of. I've been dabbling, like I always kind of do, uh, with some other brands, not brands, but properties. Marvel. Mm -hmm. You can see yeah. he's kind of sprinkling in back here um, because of Infinity War, obviously. Um, but I like Marvel anyway, so I've just been purchasing some of that stuff. I've been picking up those uh, Disney Store exclusive. Uh, like five inch type figures, the toy box figures. Mm. Uh, what Leia was the last one that came out a couple weeks ago. So I have that. There's a Han and Chewie that are coming out here in I think the next month or this month, maybe this month sometime. At least oh, one wow. of them are. Uh -huh. Um basically it's the these Infinity those figures. old Disney Infinity yeah, figures yeah, yeah. repurposed and scaled up and articulated. Yep. So there's that. Um I've been purchasing, I've been testing out that stupid uh, force link thing that does not work worth a damn. And Hasbro should be ashamed of themselves for putting out such a shitty product. Oh, because God. you could do all of the, if you can do the updates that are required for this thing to work, it still doesn't work with all of the products. It's, wow. It, or like, for example, I happen to have. The trusty thing here turns on fine. I happen to have the Wampa, which is really a great figure. That does look it's good. A quote unquote five POA line yeah, figure. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got ball jointed shoulder, a removable arm with bloody stuff, nice, and nice. Uh, articulated legs, which have ball jointed knees and ankles and swivel hips, uh, ball jointed. Or ball socket head, um, very cool. They can release that in the kind of TDC line, and it would look good. Anyway, they should take both of these figures, package them together in like the Wampa box, like we got back in the '80s, and that thing would sell like crazy. But the problem with it is, is it doesn't work with the the of force. Like they've had what three or four updates to this stupid thing. Normally, if you grab a figure that works, okay. Technically, this figure works, but he doesn't say any of the lines from Hoth. Say what? I'm looking for a great warrior. There's something not right here. I feel cold. Death. Th those are all Dagobahs. I'm not sure what that... I don't know what that one was. That was weird. <laughs> There's a lightsaber. That's Bespin was that other sound. Okay, so That's technically he works, but not the proper sounds. This guy, you would you would hope he would growl or grunt or yeah, 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 yeah. make the eating sound. I don't know, but he <laughs> says. Firmware update required. Firmware that gets annoying. Yep, update and it just keeps required. going. Firmware update required. So that's even with doing the firmware update, you're still yeah. getting that. Yeah. Oh, if boy. if you bought this thing day one, it didn't work with any of the figures really, except for the Han that included that came with it, and yep. some of the Force Link One figures. Yep. Many or none of the other Force Link 2 figures that were supposed to work did. And it was a bitch to get even the updates to work right with this thing. It's maybe one of the worst products that Hasbro has put out. Wow. As far as a you you know, a user friendly device, it's just terrible. So the Force Link one worked fine. It did, yeah. The Raftar was really good fun, and yeah, 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 I like that. The Bluetooth edition, in order to upgrade it, it just doesn't work. And the app that you can use 
on your device, whether it's the phone or the iPad, it's not that great either, to be honest. You could mm. view some of the stuff. You're supposed to be able to, um, as you get figures, it unlocks even more sounds. I haven't got that to work. Um, the app, you're supposed to be able to track your collection by, um, there's like a little, if you click the icon that shows the picture of the figure, mm. um, it's, it's supposed to track it via, there's a little counter at the top of the app that says, oh, I've got two of 101 of these figures. Um, you can mark the figure figure as that you have it, but the updates don't reflect unless you delete the profile that you've set up and start over and make a new one. <laughs> this is supposed to be done by the what, five, five year old kids and up? Yeah, four and up. Yeah, I'd like, four to, and up. I'd like to see that work for that kid um but again oh. it's it's just bad so whatever i mean it's not why i it's not why i buy these figures is to get the force link thing to work but it's just really bad mm. execution and the updates weren't available like right when the launch happened so i don't know it's just kind of a disappointing venture considering oh. where that money and development could have gone to you know some better figures or yep, yep. at least different figures available at launch i mean because there's still so many solo figures that we don't have yet as part of wave one or wave two that we should really have by even now from, but sure but even from a developer point of view you're holding that wampa uh saying update from the uh, update firmware required only play it once or twice and then stop doing you know yeah, yeah. It's just just it's incessantly bad. kind of yeah that's pretty bad yeah like here's chewy i hope it works i haven't tested it yet chewy <laughs> works fine he's he was sad that time Han must have just died. Sad, <laughs> so. so it's a bit of a hit and miss of you. Yeah. Some of them work fine. Some of the figures work fine. But like, I just opened that Wampa like right before we started the show to test it out. And I'm like, oh, cool. Luke works. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. Wrong <laughs> like Luke. Wrong, wrong scenes. Mm. But anyway, the figure looks great. Being yeah, the one always came up in stores, and I was like, oh, that looks really good, actually. It's quite yeah. impressed. So, it's one yeah. of the better looking Luke figures to come out, but yeah. If mm -hmm. the selling point is the whole Force Link 2 thing, then they kind of Field. died on the vine mm -hmm. with that thing. Um, cool. What else? Um, I don't think well, I really purchased anything else other than we didn't. <laughs> I, I'm losing track of the, the things we talk about on our last show but i did buy one of those sail barges that's a rather big purchase <laughs> <laughs> yeah and if, if you were lucky enough to buy one or could afford one or have someone buy one for you yep. um yep this, they sent clip. out these uh cool books which are it's got some nice foil stamping i don't know if you could kind of it's kind of hard to tell oh, by the camera oh but, okay uh, it's got the shiny and then it's got a lot of cool pictures behind the scenes stuff, you know. Nice. That is nice. Um, stuff from behind the scenes, kind of the build photos. There's a nice picture of Yak Face right there. Um, Which you get with it. Yes. And I don't think they knew that at the time that they made this book because on page, where is that? One of these pages it says, uh, Yak Face not included. <laughs> And, and, it, and it is that maybe that's when they added it to the uh as a freebie in order to make their yep, yep, threshold yep. but yeah it certainly seemed to make a difference i think when the figure it was it was it went initially well and then kind of went a bit flat and then the figure came out and it really did a bit better and then in the last couple of times it just really went nuts but yep. um I would have loved to buy it, and it's uh, um, it's not a question of, of, of flying it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an expensive thing to buy, it. Um, but it's the space. I just don't know where the hell I would put that damn thing. And it's, um, yeah. I think I would have 
collectors aren't quite thinking about that because it's the same with my falcon i i mean i adore my falcon but i had to let it go i just don't i, I can't put it it sits in a box it's the yeah. most expensive dust collector that i've ever owned it sits in a corner and just so as you can see by my office i have yeah. some space issues yes it the barge was going to go right there because that desk is, or that shelf, which I have to put the shelves in it, um, is exactly the length that it needs to be in order to either display the box yep. and the ship or just the ship. That's That was that was me rationalizing purchasing it. Oh, I'm going to put it right there. And then not two weeks later, I've got, you know, I'm going to back this up a little bit. You know, I've got this tower that goes with my other matching tower of pop figures that I can't seem to get rid of or stop purchasing, even though I want I to. No. It's a problem. Well, but you're uh, keeping the economy going, Jason. I, you, I you, guess. You do. <laughs> Uh, look, my spending's not been that much worse than you. You may not see it behind me, but uh, I mean, all those exclusives cost. Yours looks pretty. Crap ton. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to literally everything I've got in my collection is I, I've got fixed cabinets and that's it. I'm not yeah. kind of trying to spill over because I would and I do. You don't see the messes over there in tubs and boxes and boxes and tubs. And, so anyway, but um, yeah, pretty much the same stuff as you've been. Gogglebach, uh, Mimbin Trooper, Gamarine Gar Guards, plural. Um, and pretty much in the re, I think everything we've showed and talked about. So nothing. Yep surprisingly exciting and of course all the same in the marvel side of things all those exclusives as well so right it's very expensive and they're uh, becoming more and more expensive these things so hey ho we we collect for some reason so that's what yeah. we do so i think with that that wraps up this return episode of the realm recap um cool. it was fun uh, it was fun. Where can we find you, sir, on the interwebs? Uh, strangely, you can find me at a little website called flyguy.net and Excellent. lots of other social stuff for those that don't know. And what about you? Excellent. Uh, you can find me at yakface.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, here. Um, hopefully more than as previous. Um, mm. So until oh, my force link just shut down, he died over there. Um, <laughs> he's, he's sad. He's sad for himself. Thank um, you. Excellent. Um, so again, thank you, sir, for joining me this week. Yeah. And we will do one of these maybe sure. next month, next week. Who knows? Depends on what kind of news breaks and whatever we can fake, maybe. We'll see. So <laughs> until next time, thanks, everyone, for watching. And may the force be with you. Yeah.